lot of people around here has uh, this fall has a lot of people around here asking, is it basketball season yet? Yeah, uh, it almost is. People just stay a little patient as uh, Coach Willie Wade and the crew are going to tip this thing off at the end of November. And they are loaded. The schedule and uh, is, is supposed to be coming out uh, later this week. We'll talk to Coach Wade about it here as uh, he joins us now on Off the Bench. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Doing good. Um, earlier this week, your point guard, Javante Smart, announced the Bob Cousy Award watch list. He is a Baton Rouge native going into his third season. What are your expectations for Smart? Well, it's always great when he, you know, when you get an honor like that, be recognized as one of the top, you know, 15 uh, point guards in the in in the country going into the season. I think, I think he'll be at least that and better than that. Uh, he's been he's been really really. Uh, really, really good, really, really consistent for us. Uh, we have a, uh, a a pretty intense shooting drill that we do, and, and he, he had his best score ever on uh, on Monday. Uh, he made a hundred out of a hundred eight threes for us. Damn. In a, I mean, you're moving now. This is not Wait, what? stationary. This is not stationary threes. You're on the move. You're you're, you're moving on and out, uh, in and out, and getting at a different spot. So. He uh, he's he's really really shooting it well. He, he he's been uh, he's been taken over at some points in practice. His leadership's been great. Um, his unit won our uh, won our unit last week. So very very excited about him. Just how well he's he's been playing and and uh, you know how well he's grasping things on film and and learning and get and continuing to get better. I want to go over your defensive installation because I know that was a point of emphasis for you in the off season. But coach, if he's shooting it like that. And you got Cam added to the mix, along with Trendon coming back and Darius. You got to be really looking forward to your offense this season, huh? Yeah, I got. You know, sometimes I just got to stay out of the way of the offense, and we'll be all right. If I can just stay, if I just stay, if I just stay out of the way. So I was. Uh, it's funny. I kind of feel like this with their offense. I went to a high school practice a long time ago. When I was the head coach at Chattanooga. He was a high school coach in in the state of Tennessee, and he had a loaded team. And he ran three on two, two on one for an hour, and then he scrimmaged for another hour. He walked over to me, he said, Coach, he said, I bet you're wondering what in the world am I doing? I said, I said, well, I said, you know, I, I, I've never quite seen a, a practice like this. He said, I could, he said, I could coach him, I could coach him a lot, and we wouldn't be nearly as good. <laughs> <laughs> you he stay said, out of so the way. Instead, I've got great players. I'm just going to let them play, and they're going to play together, and we'll be all right. So I, that's probably some, that's probably some, uh, some, some wise advice I should take on, on on the offensive side of things. But we really have spent, we probably spent more time on defense than we've spent in our three years here combined uh, in the preseason. Um, I think you know we've we've got a, a I know we've got a really good philosophy. I think we'll be uh, quite a bit quite a, quite a bit better, uh, which is it's not a <laughs> that's not a huge stretch to say that from from how poor we've been. But I think we've got a great philosophy. Uh, Coach Nickelberry and Coach Armstrong have extensive uh, backgrounds and in, in, in the type defense we're running, uh, the, the the type things that we're doing, and so I, I feel like um, I feel like we're on the we're on the right track. Our guys. You know, part of it is too. Your guys got to believe in it. Your guys got to. Your guys got to believe in what you're doing. You guys have to know what you're doing. They have to know what's important. If we'd asked our guys the last couple of years, what are the three most important things on our defense? They'd have given 15 different answers. If you ask them right now, they can. They can tell you exactly what's most important for us defensively, and uh, that's one through 15 on our roster. And so I think we've got a good philosophy. I think they believe in it, and I think we're we're we're, we're coaching it well and teaching it well and. Uh, but, you know, I'm hopeful it's going to show up on the court. I feel good about that. Your season was obviously affected uh, wh while it was happening at the SEC tournament. Uh, so it's been an extended break for you. I know that your, your season and your schedule is not too thrown off, but it'll be a late start for your group. H how have you used the time away um, and the long time with your group to maybe recalibrate and reinstitute some of the things that, that you were working on when you got the job to now come in and, and reaffirm those principles to your program? Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, let, let's be honest. You know, we lost our way a little bit last year. We weren't nearly where we needed to be um, last year, and there's a there's a bunch of reasons for that, and and it, none of them matter. It starts with me, and uh, you know, I, I just think we we lost our edge a little bit. Kind of what we had built in the two years before that with our culture, the way we go about things. We we really 
we really, really slipped. And I know that sounds crazy. We came in second place and, and still had a pretty good year, but but it wasn't it wasn't what, what, where we needed to be. And this allowed us to recalibrate and and kind of start from scratch and start start over. Everybody talks about yeah, you've got you've got these eight or nine new guys, but that's good because they weren't here for the year before, and they they all they know is what we've done now. And the new guy or the the returners knew that that things weren't exactly how they wanted it to be or exactly how we needed it to be. Um, um, and so you know we were able the the, the break gave us a, an opportunity to to recalibrate and get back to our roots and get back to doing what we were doing when we got here with our with our toughness and just just the way we handle things. Uh, Coach, and I guess so, I, I have something kind of along the same lines there. So you mentioned the new guys, maybe that helps things to keep from stagnating. But but what about just to you and your staff and the guys who have been there? Like when, when I look at your tenure here and I think about the emphasis on the six-minute game and, and Greg Graber and everything you all do with mindfulness and mental preparedness and getting you guys ready for these big stages, uh, that's all very forward-thinking, right? But you have established now over a few years – during this off season, how do you look to continue to evolve those kind of concepts? Well, we've taken that stuff to a whole new level. Um, you know, we've really uh, spent more time on the on the mental aspects of things because I think you know being mentally tough and being able to overcome <laughs> overcome things this year is going to be uh, of even even more importance uh, with everything that everything we got going on. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs with the season, and so. Uh, with Joel Fish, with Bruce Bugs, with with Greg Graber, we call it our high performance team. You know, our guys are meeting with them even more, spending more time with them, um, working through working through things mentally. And so that was part of, you know, the overhaul I, I, I talked about with with uh, uh, with with Jordy. I think you know we've done a we've done a good job with our staff. We added a guy Vernon Hamilton who played for us when we were at Clemson, mm. the assistant to the head coach. He's done a hell of a job. He's been he's been a uh, a real, real big help for us. We moved LeBrent Walker up, who was uh, one of our GAs. We have a lot of very, very, very good people behind the scenes that make this thing go, and we've we've been able to upgrade in those areas and and, and really, um, you know, and, and and really, really help our guys out, and be able to spend more time with our guys, and make sure we're we're taking care of 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 their of their needs and getting them better on the court and, and making sure we're moving them forward off the court with the mental team, some of the, some of the administrative guys uh, that we have Tyrone green in our video department. He's working overtime, doing a great job. We've got some unbelievable graduate assistants. So we just, we, we, we have a really, really good high functioning uh, organization, uh, which we had for the first couple of years last year, it, it really kind of fell off a little bit, but we were able to get it back. And it's not easy to, it's not easy to get it back. And it's a credit to our people and, you know, Trendon, Javante, and Days, Hyatt, uh, Charles Manning, those guys that, that really, you know, they, they recognize that we need to get it back. They recognize there need to be changes, and they were open to, to, what, I, to what I wanted to do. Yeah, and as a player, I, can't, I just can't help but be a bit jealous that, that, that they have those kind of resources, especially in a sport like basketball where clutch situations present themselves so much. It's just got to be so nice to kind of have that base from which to build on. Um so something much less philosophical, much more simple here, Coach. When's the new schedule come out? <laughs> well, I've got we've got uh, we've got six of the nine non-conference games done. We're waiting on the MTE. We've got a Zoom call today on the MTE. We've got uh, we've got a preferred place, and we've got a couple backups, maybe. Um, uh, update them what the MTE is. MTE is a multi-team tournament, so it's basically. Uh, we would play. We're looking for three games over three or four days to start the season, or four or five days to start the season, and so that's what we're, um, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're gunning for. That's what we're looking for, and um, we've been locked into this thing in Nebraska, and that's where we, we're still locked in there right now. But we're waiting to get the details and the teams and the testing and some of that thing, some of that stuff. So as soon as, soon as we get that finalized, the non-conference schedule will be will be done. We actually added an extra home game to the non-conference schedule. So we've got, uh, we've got five non-conference home games. We're going to have uh, four non-conference neutral court games. Um, so we, we added an extra home game, which will be good. And then, you know, the SEC schedule, from what I understand, should be out, you know, anytime, either later on this week or, or early next week. So uh, we should, you know, it's kind of weird being three weeks out from the start of the season and not having a schedule, but that's the times we live in these days. Yeah. 
administration give you any update on, on fan capacity, what to expect there? Well, I don't know how much they want me to say, yeah. but I don't, you know, I, I, um, I, 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 there will be, from what I understand, and I, I'm not the final say in any of this, but uh, from what I understand, I think it'll be similar capacity-wise uh, to football, which I think is about 25%, which puts it around um, 3,000 or so uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the assembly center. Um, you know, the benches are going to be different. The benches are going to look like the NBA benches. Um, in terms of social distancing and spacing. And there's a lot of different things with timeouts. We're going to use iPads for stats instead of paper stats. And there's a lot of different things like that that they've, <laughs> that they've, that they've gone through. The planning and detail that uh, Dan Gadsden and, and his group uh, have done is, is, is really, really uh, impressive. I was on a Zoom call with them last week going through, um, you know, just different things that I, I would never even – dream about um thinking about but it'll certainly look different it'll feel different i just told them pipe up the music so you can't hear every word i say <laughs> when we're, when, when, if there's only if there's only going to be three thousand folks there will wade lsu head basketball coach one on a newcomer i know we've asked you about cam we've asked you about sharif and the rest of the crew how about jalen cook local kid out of walker what's, uh, what's what's he look like lately he's been tremendous he's been tremendous um in fact, he just got out of the gym working out early this morning. He's one of our early morning workout guys. He gets in here every morning, five days a week, at about 7 a.m., 7.30, and gets in here and gets his work in and gets his shots up. So uh, just really, really working hard. He's shooting it well. He's a tremendous, tremendous, uh, tremendous, tremendous defender. He's just going to grow as he continues to play and continues to, to uh, you know, to, to, to get on the court and get more minutes. Uh, but he, he's a lockdown defender he's shooting the ball at a high level he can get in the paint um you know he's just been very consistent he's a tremendous tremendous athlete and there's some things you know there's going to be some things that he's still got to learn about playing point guard and where to throw the ball and when to throw the ball but he's such a quick learner he watches film he absorbs everything he's totally he's totally bought in and totally just all into everything that's that's um, that, that's going on and so you know like any freshman there'll be some growing pains but we're going to grow with him because he's such a such a uh, such a great person and, and such a hard worker and very very diligent about about what he does. So very very excited about him. I was talking to his dad Eric the other day. I told him I said whoever rated him a three star, those people should be fired <laughs> uh, because they, they, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. But uh, he's he's going to way outperform what people think. I'll tell you that. You hear that, Embody? Will Wade's talking to you, wow, uh, Billy. <laughs> All right, Coach, uh, <laughs> congratulations on, the, uh, on, on getting back on the floor. We are ready to watch you and your team play. Thank you for the time this morning. We're ready to go, guys. Thanks. Boot up. Yes, sir. There Thanks, he is. Coach. Boot up.